Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is my July favorites. I don't even know where July went. It came and gone in the blink of an eye, but I'm so excited to be entering August. We are creeping into spooky season. Halloween decor is already in stores and I am thrilled. We're getting closer and closer to that last quarter of the month where I am the absolute happiness. September through December is my prime time and I'm so excited that summer is slowly coming to an end. It's gonna be a little while before Florida sees it, but in my heart and in my mind, it's coming to an end. These are all the things that I was loving in the month of July. It's not the biggest pile of things. I have a few really cool staple makeup products to share with you and then some exciting like TV shows and a movie and stuff like that. So. We're gonna jump into it, I'm really excited. Before we do, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. And as far as my accessories go, these earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. This necklace was a gift from my in-laws. And this is, I believe, the Sharon ponytail from insert name here. So yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna hop in, chat about the things I was loving in July. I always love hearing what your favorites were, whether it's makeup, skincare, hair care, Food, movies, TV shows, activities, really anything. I love hearing your favorites. It's a fun way to regroup and just kind of chat about the things that stuck out to us. So let's just hop in and get to it. All right, let's start with makeup first and we're just gonna go in the order that I do my makeup. So I have some really fun highlighters to talk about. These are the new highlighters from Unearthly Cosmetics, their new liquid highlighters. I've worn these so many times. I keep wearing them. I didn't wear it today because I was feeling just that white beaming glow, but I love these. And if you know, you know, I'm very, very, very picky when it comes to liquid highlights. I feel like they're either too subtle where it feels kind of pointless or maybe they move my makeup around and they're tricky to use. These are beautiful. I can use these before or after I set my foundation already with like powder and nothing moves them around. They don't feel slimy or greasy. They kind of dry down once you blend them out. I really enjoy these. This one is the shade Basque. It has kind of a golden but pinky purple shift. It's really pretty. I've probably worn this one the most out of the four. Right here is Gilded. It has kind of like a peachy pink shift. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at how these shift. And they truly do shift this way too when they're like blended on the cheek as well. I love them. This one is Molten. It's probably my second most used. It kind of has that like pinky purple, more cool tone shift. It's so cute. And then last we have Pixie. I feel like this one's very cool tone pink with kind of like a bluey shift. Oh, I just love them all so much. Look how pretty they are. I love the sparkle, I love the shine, I love the glow. I think these are beautiful and I was really, really impressed with these. Side note, I can use these with either a brush or a sponge. I It doesn't really matter, I just kind of use whatever's around and they seem to blend really, really nicely for me. I just kind of put some on my hand first and then I'll go to town on my cheek. I don't apply it directly from applicator to cheek. I like to be able to have the control of grabbing the amount that I want and then blending it out and they're a dream. Moving on to eyeshadows, I've actually played with a lot of really cool eyeshadows lately and I very recently did an eyeshadow palette ranking where I ranked my last 10 palettes. So if you want even more recommendations, go check that out. I'm just going to talk about my top two current favorites that I've tried recently. And then we're going to talk about some singles. First is the one I'm wearing right now. It's the One Up palette from Lethal. I did already do a two looks video with this and the Instagram video slash TikTok that I did this look for. It's just so cute. It's bright and fun. I love how bright these mattes are and some of them are even UV reactive, which I mentioned before, I don't really venture towards places where it's like late at night and there's like black lights going on, but it is cool regardless and the shimmers are so pretty. I love the way this one right here looks on top of the black liner that I put down. So cute. I'm so impressed with this. The shimmers are amazing and the mattes are just so bright and fun. I just love Lethal. I'm such a sucker for them. And the other palette I wanted to chat about is the new Primal palette from Blend Bunny. I am loving this. I did a two looks video for my channel as well. And I will have an Instagram video slash TikTok up. I'm pretty sure before this video goes up, I'm pretty sure that's the way my schedule is going to work. So that'll be up as well. Here's a close up look at it. It's just so pretty. This was essentially meant to fill in the gaps for her original blends palette. This has different undertones that that one didn't have to just further expand your range as far as undertones and different, you know, shades going on. 
There's also the row of shimmers in here that the blends doesn't have. And then if you're someone who uses your blends palette a lot, and maybe you personally love utilizing a matte white and a matte black, this palette has large pans so that you don't run out super fast. I'll be honest, those personally don't really mean much for me. I will probably rarely dip into those, especially the white. I just don't utilize shades like that that much. I tend to gravitate towards like the colorful deeps or like the colorful lights. I will use the black from time to time, don't get me wrong, but her colorful deep shades are just absolutely everything. I love utilizing those when I can. It's just such a good gradient with the pastels, the mids, the deeps. I love the range of colors in here. It is beautiful. I am so, so happy with this. Blend Buddy never ceases to amaze me. One of my favorite brands ever. One of my favorite matte formulas ever. I absolutely adore the brand and I'm super happy to see a new palette from them. Really excited to see what's next. I can only imagine the cool thing she has cooking up. Next up, the Pastel Roses sent me a very generous package of beautiful, amazing, shifty shadows. Look at these. They're incredible. I did already upload a swatch party video to my channel where I swatched and chatted about all of these and I already filmed a look for Instagram and TikTok playing with a bunch of these. Um, and I'm just planning on continuing to try to incorporate these when I can into my looks going forward. I love these. Again, I'm not gonna go into detail about like each of these right this second because I did already upload a swatch party. If you're very interested in these shadows specifically, please go check out that video. But I will shout out my favorites. I'm really, really into Hypnosis, Phantom, and Starlight. Those three in particular really stand out to me. I will swatch those. So we have Hypnosis, Phantom, and Starlight. They're just gore. Just look at those shifts. And really all of the shadows in here are so magical. I'm so impressed. Oh, I cannot get enough. I could stare at that all day. These make me really, really excited. I'm so grateful for this package and I cannot wait to keep playing with these more going forward. Moving on now to lips. I have a few lip products. Uh, shout out to the six new glosses from Lethal as well. They came out with six glosses in their One Up collection with that palette. Five of them have different shades and shifts of sparkle and one of them is just totally clear. It's funny because I did upload a swatch video with these to Instagram and TikTok. I had a few people, they were like, these all look so similar. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's kind of the point. At the end of the day, they're all sheer glosses with sparkle in them. They just have different undertones with the shade of sparkle, if that makes sense. So like, do you need all of them? Probably not, but I like that there's the variety there so you can kind of pick the sparkle that appeals to you. I'm pretty sure my favorite one is this one, Limelight. I've reached for this one a lot. It's just really, really pretty. It has kind of that golden and pinky sort of shift to it. It's really, really pretty. Love this formula as well. It's very glidey and slippy and thin on the lips and I just love the sparkle. It doesn't feel chunky on the lips, but it offers just the prettiest twinkle. I'm really into this. I like all of them so much but I think this one's my favorite, but you truly can't go wrong with any of them. It just kind of depends on which sparkle speaks to your soul a little bit more. And then Rare Beauty came out with their Kind Words lipsticks and matching lip liners. There's 10 of each, so 20 total, 10 lip liners with the matching lipstick, all the same shade, and I love them. I filmed a lip swatch video for Instagram and TikTok as well, so that is already up. This is the combination I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Wise Pencil with the Wise matching lipstick and a little bit of Talented in the center just for a little bit of dimension, a little ombre action. Uh, these specifically are my favorite shades. Talented is the palest neutral and it's just so good on my pale skin. It fits really well without looking too concealer lipsy. It has still a little bit of depth to it without it being like, you know, concealer lips. That's the best way I can describe it. And wise, I just really like. I like this kind of brownie neutral, but there is such a good gradient. It goes all the way from super light to really, really dark. It is such a creamy formula. Both of them are. It's quite possibly my new favorite lip liner formula that I've tried. And these lipsticks are just so comfy. They don't feel heavy on the lips at all. I feel like I could wear these all day and they wouldn't get like crumbly and nasty. Really, really impressed with these. Oh, we are getting through it. I told you this wasn't gonna be a very long one. I just had a few like really standout products that I wanted to share, so yeah. Uh, we saw the new Thor movie and I really liked it. I feel like it was so cheesy and funny and silly and wonderful. And Taika Waititi directed that one as well, like he did Ragnarok and I just really like him. I like the things he creates and I think he did a really good job. I still liked Ragnarok more 
than this new Thor, Love and Thunder, I think was the name of it. Um, but it was really cute. I thought it had a good story. I'm not gonna delve into it too much because I don't wanna give spoilers or anything, but if you're a Marvel fan, you might as well go see this one too. I thought it was really cute just seeing a little bit more growth from Thor, a little bit more of his journey, you know? I thought it was really cool. Huh, the next two things like relate to it in different ways. I guess keeping with Marvel, we watched the new Miss Marvel show on Disney Plus and I loved it. It was so cute. It was wonderful seeing Muslim representation. I thought she was so cute and so wonderful. It was a really cool story as well. Again, I don't want to delve too deep into the actual meat of the story in case you want to see it for yourself. I don't want to spoil anything, but I just felt like there were a lot of layers of depth with not only her culture, but the story itself and how she's getting her powers and what they relate to in relation to the world. It's really, really cool and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really sweet show and I feel like it had a pretty powerful message too. And then also somewhat relating to Thor, uh, we also watched Taika Waititi's show, Our Flag Means Death, and it was so good. It's about pirates and it's wonderful and amazing and I just, I thought it was hilarious. It's a really easy watch too. The episodes are only like 25 minutes long and it's only one season as of right now. Um, totally watched that one. It was so good and it's making me really excited to watch the new season of What We Do in the Shadows. I kind of want to rewatch the previous seasons just to get excited for it. I know the first one or two episodes have already released, but I want to re-catch up and get re-excited about all of it. Uh, I'm just really into Taika Waititi right now. I feel like there's just some really exciting things coming out right now. We're actually seeing the new Nope movie tonight, so I almost want to include that in this video, even though I haven't seen it yet. I just know I'm going to love it. Jordan Peele makes such good horror movies, and I've been so excited for this one for months, ever since I saw that first trailer. I have been so pumped so i have no doubt in my mind that that's going to be amazing and i'm just excited so yeah that was today's favorites video again i know it was short but you know what sometimes short and sweet is the way to go i don't always have a million things that i can really consider a favorite in the moment so this is my list right now. And again, I would love to hear yours. Have you tried any of the things I mentioned? What do you have to add to this list? What have you been loving? Let's chat down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me your current favorite emoji? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Baddie Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.